All right, we're going to talk about limits. And specifically, for now, the most important thing is to evaluate limits uh, from a graph. Okay, so this is a new concept. All right, um, so I'm first going to write down notation and tell you what that notation uh, means and how you read it. Okay, so you're going to start seeing um, this type of notation a lot. And what this means is, or the way you read this is, it's the limit of f of x as x approaches a. Okay, so that this is this is shorthand notation, and it's actually it's really asking a question. The answer to this question is the answer to this question is always going to be the y value that a graph is approaching. as x gets closer and closer to a, okay? So the first thing I want to do is some examples because I think if you, uh, if you see a few examples, it kind of helps to um, put some of these terms in perspective. So I'm going to just... Um, graph the function f of x equals 3 divided by x. So that graph looks like this. equals zero and a vertical asymptote at as y equals zero. Okay, so there's my graph. And um, I'm just going to start asking some limit questions. So here's the first question. This says the limit of f of x as x approaches one. And now I kind of threw you a curveball here. I put a little plus up next to it. So if you ever see that plus up to the right of that one, what that means is you're approaching from the right side. From the right side of one. Okay, you can approach you can approach x values from two different two different sides. So this wants us to approach from the right side. So let me walk you through how you answer a question like that. So let's note where x equals one is. X equals one is right right there. Okay. We are going to get on the graph to the right of one. So I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a guy. He's on the graph to the right of one. Okay. Now he's going to approach one. Okay, but he's got to stay on the graph. He can't jump off the graph. He's going to stay on the graph. So if he approaches one, he's going to get closer and closer to one. That means he's walking to the left. And as he walks to the left, he's going to come closer and closer to what y value? Well, the y value 3, right? As he gets closer and closer to 1, he, from the right, he's approaching the y value of 3. So the answer to this question is 3. Okay. How about uh, the limit as x goes to 1? And that little minus, intuitively you should guess, means you're approaching from the left side. one. Okay, so I get on the graph a little bit to the left side of one. And you remember the guy. And he's going to start approaching one, the x value one, from the left. 
To approach the x value 1, he's going to have to walk to the right. So he's going to walk a little bit this way. Okay, he's got to stay on the curve. What y value is he approaching as he does that? Well, as he approaches 1, the y value that he's approaching is also 3. All right. So therefore, what we say is the limit as x goes to 1 without a plus or a minus that means what is the limit of f of x as x approaches 1? That equals 3. And the reason it does is because when you approach from the right, you get the same answer as when you approach from the left. And you're going to see that that doesn't always happen. But if it does, so in other words, 3 equals 3. So if it does, that means the limit in general with no plus or minus, as you approach from both sides, the y value you're approaching is the same. Okay, um, let's, do, let's do another example. How about um, the limit as x goes to uh, 0 from the right? Well, as you approach 0 from the right, let's see, let's put our guy on the graph a little bit to the right of 0, maybe up here. Now, if he approaches 0 from the right, x equals 0 from the right, he's going to have to start climbing. Right? He's going to start walking left, but he's going to have to start climbing. And as, as he walks more and more to the left to approach 0 from the, from the right, where is he, what y value is he approaching? Well, he's really just approaching infinity. Okay, he's approaching, I mean, as he walks left, the y values are increasing and increasing as he, as he comes closer and closer to zero. So that limit is equal to infinity. And similarly, the limit is x goes to zero from the left, would mean I have a guy down here. He's going to start approaching zero from the left. He's got to stay on the graph, and as he does that, he's going to come closer and closer to, uh, head closer and closer to infinity. Now, infinity is an idea. It's not a number, but um, I think you get the idea. As he moves closer and closer to zero from the left, he's approaching, oh, I'm sorry, I said infinity. I meant to say negative infinity, right? He's approaching negative big Y values. And so, therefore, the limit as X goes to zero in general does not exist and again, that's because the right-hand side limit does not equal the left-hand side. Okay, they have to be equal for that for the limit in general to exist for the limit without pluses or minuses. Okay. So again, that's that's because the left-hand side limit does not equal the right-hand side limit. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to look at uh, the limit as x goes to infinity. So as x goes to infinity, what does that mean? Well, that means I'm going to put my guy here on the graph. What I want him to do is just start walking to the right, staying on the curve. Now, again, we can't get the whole picture of this curve, but uh, you have to understand how asymptotes cause graphs to behave. As he walks further and further to the right, right, meaning as he walks uh, farther and farther to the right, x values are getting bigger and bigger. They're approaching infinity. What y value is he approaching? Well, since we have an asymptote at y equals 0, he's getting closer and closer to the x-axis. So he's getting closer and closer to the y value of 0. And similarly, if we put our guy on the graph and ask him to walk towards big negative x values because we have an asymptote there he's going to start approaching y equals zero the y coordinate he's approaching is zero okay whenever you're asked about limits as x goes to infinity and negative infinity right if ever you're asked about a limit where you have x going to infinity or negative infinity. Those questions are called the n, uh, referred to what's called the n behavior. 
Okay, that's the end behavior. The limits that involve uh, positive infinity and uh, positive infinity and negative infinity. Okay, so this is really um, just a, a, a quick set of instructions on how to approach evaluating limits. Um, this is going to come up throughout the year, so it is something you want to know how to do. Um, and, and keep that in mind uh, as we move forward.